Why it's risky to lead with power shots? Hmm. Now the reason why it's risky to lead with power shots is because there's more chance of you telegraphing the punch. And as it's from further back, usually there's more distance to travel, meaning the opponent has a longer time to process what shot you're throwing. If I'm here and I'm popping on my jab, is the punch that's closer to my opponent, the punch that I can throw out the quickest because it comes out straight. A lead hook is in the same position, but it's coming out wide. Do you see that? It's coming out wide. There may, there may be a slight dip, and even if there's not a dip, it's easier to see a hook coming towards you than it is pap, a straight jab. Now, any shot from the backhand, of course, is traveling a further distance, which gives your opponent more time to think about what's happening and see what's happening. Now, firstly, with Nabuka, you're, you're very open, and, and it's highly unlikely that you're going to successfully land a lead Nabuka against an opponent on your level. So, if I'm leading with Nabuka, even if I don't dip and I shoot the shot, Straight up, look at that. It has, it has to come down and up. So even if I whip it straight out, even though it's just fractions of a second slower, it's still considerably slower than a straight jab or even a straight cross, which is a shot that you can land. But again, it's very risky as it has further to travel. So the opponent has longer time to process the shot coming towards them. Buster Douglas attempted a lead up a car, and boy, it didn't end well for him. Look here, you see a slight little dip, and Evander was able to notice the shot, and bam, counter. Although lead power shots are always more risky, they can be effectively thrown. May have just executed it against Victor Ortiz with a lead right hand. Now he's the line, Mayweather just has to time the shot. The safe space is always walking away from the opponent's backhand. Usually, Mayweather will have to try to make his opponent walk onto it, but for some reason, Victor Ortiz kept willingly walking onto the backhand. Mayweather paused with the jab to make sure he's in firing distance. As you can see, once he becomes square, he fires. Here's Mayweather showing the touch, touch, then lead right hand combination he threw. Landing this shot, it's about the timing. Timing to have the correct angle. It can be landed over and over again, just like now. As long as Mayweather is square, the shot will land. Let's take a look at Mayweather vs Gatti. It's the exact same. Once the angles are correct, Mayweather launches the shot. Here, Mayweather cleverly lowers his level to disguise the shot, but still waits for his backhand to be square to Gatti. Speed, reflexes and reaction time are all needed. It's very important to understand the integral part of landing the shot is angles. The right hand being square to the opponent means it has less distance to travel.